Hi, I am Aliza Tanvir from SkillCurb. In this video, you will learn how to create a schema for external dataset using Glue Data Catalog. And for that, we will first create an external schema using the AWS Glue Data Catalog. Then we are going to create an external table inside the external schema. Then we are going to verify the external table creation. And then finally, we are going to join the external table with the tables in our Redshift Data Warehouse. Alright, so in the previous video, we left off by loading the data into the name basics, title and title basics table. But if you remember that we created another bucket called the spectrum bucket in which we loaded the property name properties.tsv.gz file. Since the data is not in our warehouse and it is present in an external location on the AWS, so for that, we cannot create a simple schema and simple table. In such scenario, we have to create external schema and then create an external table inside the external schema. To do so, I am going to write this query here. Firstly, I am going to create an external schema called spectrum schema from the data catalog. The database name is going to be spectrum underscore db. Then we have to define the ARN. For that, go to command prompt and copy the Redshift cluster IAM role ARN. Okay, copy this and paste it here without any spaces, otherwise it is going to give us errors. Okay, paste it and once you have done that, select it and execute the query and you will see that an external schema for the spectrum with the name spectrum underscore schema has been created. Okay, yes, it is present on the left hand side here, but if you cannot see it here, it is because of certain properties, you only have to click this three of eight here and then select the last value which shows the spectrum schema for the external schemas okay so once you have done that the next step is to create an external table inside the external schema and for that i am going to write this query the name of my external table is going to be principal it will have the following columns and then you can see that we are defining the values similar to what we were while copying the data from the s3 bucket but this time we are not copying the data we are just defining the format for creating the external table and then we have to provide the location where our spectrum data is present and for that go to your AWS console then inside the buckets go to your spectrum bucket and then copy the S3 URI from here and then paste it here inside the single code okay so this is where your spectrum data source is present now select this block and execute it to create the external table. It is going to take some time. And after a while, you will see that our query has been successfully executed. So let's confirm the creation of this from our AWS console. Here you have to go to your search bar and type glue. Then the first option that appears, which is the AWS glue, click on it. And once you land on the page, and from the left side navigation menu, you have to select databases from the data catalog. And you will see that a database name spectrum underscore db has been created for us. It has a single table called principal that we just created. And once you click on it, you will see the location of the data source where it is present. Then we have the input format, the output format and all the columns that are present inside the external table that we defined from here. Okay, now let's come back to your data grip and I'm going to run a query on it to see whether the data has been loaded into the external table or not. So I'm going to simply run a query to count the number of records that are present inside a spectrum schema or principles external table. Okay, select it and execute the query. And you will see that it has returned us the number of records that are present inside the external table, which is quite a large number of records. Okay, let's clear all this. And I'm going to finally run another query to join all the three data sets together. The one which are present in our Redshift cluster and the one that are external tables. And then I'm going to uh, join them on the basis of a value to see whether the Redshift can do that or not. And to do so, I am going to write this query here. Firstly, I am selecting the title, language, primary title, start year, genre, primary name, and primary profession from the title table. 
then i am joining the three tables on the basis of these values for all the records where the language is english and the start year is not null then we are going to order the result in descending order of start year and we are going to limit the results to 500 because the number of records are very large let's select it and execute the query and now in the output you can see that we have join the three tables together having the title language primary title start year genre and constant the primary name and the primary profession for all the records where the language is english and the start year is not null and you can see that we have sorted the records in the descending order of start year so you can see that redshift has the property of joining the data from the data sets which are present inside its own cluster as well as from the data which is external to the redshift cluster so this is how you can use the glue data catalog to show how external data can be loaded into aws and can interact with our redshift cluster that is all for this video thank you